Coach, after reviewing the film, what do you feel like you did well and maybe you didn't do so well? Uh, the guys played hard. Uh, I would say the secondary covered pretty darn well in man coverage. I mean, I put them in that a lot. And, uh, you know, a couple opportunities, make a couple plays here and there, and maybe it's the difference. But all in all, I thought, you know, the guys uh, executed the game plan pretty well. And then there's a couple calls I'd like to have back. You know, that last screen play, uh, really those last two, I mean, Third down, give credit to those guys. They had a heck of a little plan. You know, look to the sideline play, sh quick little wedge play to the running back. It was a good call. And then uh, the very next play, uh, all out blitzed, and Martin was all alone out there, and good call by them, tunnel screen. 14 of Memphis's points came off uh, special teams and offense, like turnover. Were you happy to hold a good offense like that to 17 points? No. <laughs> Wait to hold them to zero? That's typically the goal for all of us defensive guys, yeah. What's the kind of the focus when you see LSU's offense on the field? What, what jumps out to you? Oh, just the, the level of athleticism, you know? Size, strength, athleticism. I mean, they're at LSU for a reason, right? I mean, they're uh, really, really talented, obviously executing at a very high level. And, uh, you, you know, you see the speed out there at wide receiver, and then you see the, the size of their alignment and then their ability to get off the ball and move people. It's it's a sight to behold. A running back Corey Kiner had kind of a breakout game. What do you know about him, and how do you game plan for a guy like Kiner? I think he had a, he had a heck of a game. Obviously, made some great cuts. Uh, you know, obviously him and him and the rest of the, the running backs are they're going to be a, a challenge for us to slow him down. This morning, Coach Leach talked about in, in year two. He's kind of noticed your defense stepping up just because they kind of know their role better. I guess. Well, what does that look like on the field, knowing knowing your role better and getting better results? I hope that's the case. I mean, uh, obviously, there are a lot of guys, and then now they have a lot of reps in the system. So, you know, when we, anytime we call out, a, you know, bring a blitz out that maybe we did last year but hadn't run it in a while, everyone kind of has a, you know, remembers it and has an understanding of it. Secondary, obviously, it's a lot of reps in man coverage or in the, in the different zone coverages we play. So, I think it's probably like that in any system, you know experience and time in it, you tend to get better at it. They had the time in the off season, but have you kind of noticed just from having three games this season that they made an improvement from where they were week one? Uh, I, I, we've improved since week one, clearly, yes. Uh, you know, Relative to last year, I don't know. I'd have to go back and watch the ta those tapes. Keshawn Boutte is a guy that kind of stirs the drink up there for <laughs> those guys. You know, And they like to move him around a lot and kind of get him in mismatches. How do you kind of combat that without giving away trade secrets there? Uh, we'll just match Martin Forbes up on him every single snap, right? That yeah. one, they won't tip off any secrets there. No, I mean, you know, they, they do a great job moving him around, get, finding ways to get him the ball, whether it's on fly sweeps or put him in the slot one play, you know, motion him, like you said, to get a matchup. Obviously, you can do that formationally too, you know, to, you know force DBs to combo and pass off routes so you can create matchups that way. You know, they, they do a phenomenal job. And so, uh, you know, for the most part, we we cover them as they line up. So uh, he might be on. He's going to be on a safety at times. He's going to be on a corner at times. And we'll obviously, you know, there might be some game plan stuff in there to do. But you know, we're not going to completely change our entire scheme. It looks like they stress the nickel a lot too with him. And so, you know, how, how do you kind of get a guy like Jalen Green to say, okay, listen, this is a chance, you know, for you to really impact the defense, kind of get him ready for that. He he stresses everyone that's covering him. <laughs> I mean, that's, he's a hell of a player. So uh, I don't matter where he lines up. I mean, he, he does some phenomenal things, and it's going to be a challenge for anyone. Randy Charlton coming in here. What have you thought of him through three games, stepping up and playing that role? Uh, he's done a nice job, you know. I mean, he he's doing he's doing what we the reason we recruit him, right? What he flashed on film. He he plays hard. He plays physical. He can change directions. You know, plays with his hands, and so that's kind of all the things you're looking for in a D lineman. Your thoughts on Jet since he's kind of increased his reps with Bukio? Yeah, Jet's done a great job. I mean, I think he's. Uh, I couldn't. I'd be lying if I knew the stats on the top of my head, but probably has led us in tackles, you know, over those last two games and uh, caused a turnover in one of them. So he's done a lot of really good things, and obviously he's uh, warranted increased playing time because of it. When with, you were, sorry, you got it. <laughs> with uh, with, with Randy uh, going back, how often do you get a chance to bring a guy with that kind of experience in the FBS level in the Group of Five school to your defense? I'm guessing they're going to have a lot more in college football now that the uh, transfer rule has gone through. Yeah. Did you expect him to have such a big impact immediately? Was that kind of like the goal when you were recruiting him, Randy? That's the goal when you recruit everyone, right? You don't recruit a guy unless you think he improves, improves your roster. So, uh, yeah, we're very pleased with what he's done.